It's go time! It's go time. Sounds like bedtime, not go time. Look at the state of that, Mark. Just after four o'clock. Yep. <laughs> Where are right. we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? We are going to the mighty River Y. We may may have something to report later. Hopefully. If either of us can focus. I've had like 20 minutes sleep. I don't think Mark's had much more than that because we're excited bloody school kids. We are. We're going to search for some barbel and hopefully a chub or two as well, mate. That'd be very nice, wouldn't it? Hopefully the conditions aren't too bad. We've had quite a lot of rain, but uh, yeah, it normally... The river's come up a little bit in the last couple of days, so that's a tick box. Absolutely. Go and see what we can find. Let's get this party started. Yeah, Morning. Today you join us on the mighty River Y, just outside Ross on Y. Good morning. It's the first session on the river. It is. We've waited just over a month to do it. Yep. But with all the rain that we've had over the last few days, we thought maybe it'd be a good time to be on the bank. So here we are. About an hour and a half into the trip, mate. Yep. Only ones on the river so far. So hopefully that. That last mate. Yeah, definitely. Not to be too greedy, but the river to ourselves for the day would be nice. That would be very nice. But uh, yeah, so hour and a half in, what has happened Mark? What has happened? So we have banked a chub, probably two He's, or three He pounds. says we, he banked a chub. Did. He marks the only one to a banked a fish at the moment. But I'm pretty sure I did lose a barbel in a snag as well, um, yeah. about an hour into the session. By the way it took off and it kept very very deep um, yeah. and then took us behind some boulders and unfortunately the fish won on that occasion but uh it's early days and we'll keep keep we'll, plugging away we still have some time we still have some time so we're not worried yet what's the sort of game plan then i you know if you've seen any of our vlogs or certainly the last one you know that i am no river expert so we're relying on mark's skill set for this one so what have we done? What's the plan? So we're we moving, we're we feeding. We... So at the moment, we've been looking at different runs in the river to go for. So we're yeah. looking for little patches of weed. We've got some quite nice overhanging trees on the far bank that we're casting very, very tight to at the moment. Yeah. Um, we'll probably, because we've had a few bites, I think we'll give it a couple of hours here, uh, probably two to three hours here. And if we don't get any luck here, there's there's plenty of other swims we can try. There's there's some big bends, there's some long straights. Um, there are a couple of swims with some deep holes in. So whilst we're getting a couple of knocks, and we have seen some activity in the swim, Steve, as well. Haven't we? Yeah, there, there's been a few fish moving, and like I said, you, you've lost, lost the barbel sort of early yeah. on, haven't you? So. I mean, and the chub, so, you know, we're not blanking by any means. And yeah, I, th I think this swim's probably going to be good for another couple of bites, hopefully. Definitely. But... There's plenty of areas in this swim that we haven't explored yet. We haven't tried yeah. the inside margin yet. Um, it's quite a wide swim where we are. So there's different steps across um, either side of the stream or we down the middle track as well that we can try. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we might be dictated to a little bit by any boat traffic later, but at the moment, We've, we've had a fish, so the, the, the dreaded blank is out of the way. Um, and we'll keep plodding away, we'll keep... We're fishing on the river. We are fishing on the river. Exciting. So we've been using running rigs today. Yeah. Uh, three or four foot hook lengths. That's mono hook lengths. Mono hook lengths. Yeah. Um, and... Hook bait choices. Hook bait, so we're using some seafood dumbbells. Yep. And we've also got uh, a test debate that we're trying out today as well. Absolutely. Um, all of those we double up with um, small golf ball size bags of um, yeah. funnel web with uh, ellipse pellets in. 
some mediums and some large yep and uh, everything gets a good glug in some of the match and oil before it goes out and at the moment it's uh, it's been quite positive but like Steve said it's just great to be back out on the river again if you see us looking this way it's because that's where the action is hopefully yes. gonna kick in in a minute but yeah no the rods are out and they're fishing so another sort of 10 minutes of a recast one out I think it will and uh, yeah I mean hopefully we'll have a a few more fish to show a bit later mate. Would be very nice. We'll uh, we'll keep you up to date with how the session progresses. Update at midday or hopefully. Yep, with hopefully a before. First barbel. Yes. So we'll uh, we'll hopefully catch up with you very soon. It's in a bit. There we go. My first river chub of 2023. What a great start. Mark's managed one, I've managed one and unfortunately we've lost a barbel each. So we're going to get this one back quick, there you go. get this one back and get that rod straight back out in hope of a barbel. We shall see you soon. Lovely chubbly as they say. It is, we've had a, managed to double our tally in the last 40 minutes or so. Yep, another couple of, uh, well we've had two chub each now haven't we? Lost a barbel unfortunately, so yep. I think we're around sort of eight, nine bites. Yes. Something like that, so it's going pretty well, mate. It is going well, really pleased. Yep, it's the biggest of the, the day so far, but uh, quite happy to catch chub all day. Absolutely, finding a bit of consistency as well, sort of across the middle track and the um, sort of snag on the far side, isn't it? Yep, yep, it's been working really well so far. Sorry, thought, the, thought I heard the rods ticking again. <coughs> we thought we had another bite for a second. Well, lively little chubbly, we'll get this one back and hopefully maybe a barbell next one. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah. But at least we're catching and yeah, first trip out in the rivers. It's going well. It's coming together, yeah, yeah. So we're looking forward to the next couple of hours, getting a bit more bait in and seeing what it brings. Catch you in a bit. Right, it is half twelve, Mark. It is. We have done, is it like five and a half? hours yep five and a half hours in started extremely well then it got a bit frustrating it did yeah for two hours we had steady flow of bites had a few fish yep and we thought yep we got this figured out it's rocking yep. everything sort of falling into place and then the boats came and, and they made kept it, and they kept coming it's the, they certainly did and that made it difficult would be a nice way of putting it difficult to fish effectively Yes, there's a lot, lot of canoes and paddle boards yeah. on the white. It's one of those things, but it's definitely affected the fishing today. You know, there's not an awful lot of water in the river. No. And um, there was probably, over the course of two and a half hours, 50 to 60 canoes came through. Most of them wanted to run our margin and take out all of our rods. Yep. So that wasn't the best. No, which is another downside of us having the river to ourselves today yeah they haven't come across anybody else and um yeah so they've been through a few of our lines but so there was us thinking we're all lucky to have the river to ourselves and it's probably actually gone against us today but uh, possibly such is fishing we're not completely distraught no. yet are we like no. i said it's about half 12. mark's got a cunning plan that we're going to move to some deeper water yeah so we're going to 25 million swims that way yeah so we're going <laughs> to we are in quite shallows at the moment it starts off and uh, shallows off very shallow yeah so with the boats coming through we can't really fish the far margin anymore that we wanted to do that was quite productive even the middle yeah. the middle to three quarters across yeah. is causing trouble so what we're going to do is we're going to pack up we're going to move um, a few swims upstream where it's deeper so that the, pl the plan is to fish some of the deeper margins, undercuts and things, and uh, see if we could change our fortunes, guys, really. We've already had a good look down there, and it does look spot on for it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. That said, we'll probably be updating you in a couple of hours, and we'll be in the same swim as, as we are now. And, uh, <laughs> Quite possibly. We're going back to, uh, yeah, back to how it all started. But, you know, the, I mean, a lot of the time spent on the rivers, it's searching, isn't it? So. It definitely is. Yep, so we're going to try and change our luck. We're going to do it change a swim, um, change the tactics up there and see what it brings. Hopefully a barbel each mate. Yep, or even I'd take a few chub at the moment as well. Yeah, some bites would be good. Yep. But we haven't blanked. We haven't, no. We've had eight bites, shook off three barbel possibly and landed five chub to around five pounds. Yeah. Just over yep. something like that. So yeah, no, it's all right. 
but uh, yeah, we, we, we've got some redeeming to do and we're hoping that the next one will do that. So. Yeah, so rather than sit here and wait for the fish to come to us, we're going to try and take us to the fish, but we'll, uh, we'll let you know how that works out. For better, for worse, mate. Yes. <laughs> Well, you might have been able to see Mark. That's about a field ahead of me. He's got twice as much gear. And he's freaking racing. I've literally just left this woman. I'm glad he knackered already. I think I need to get in shape. Hopefully, we'll have some barble and it'll be worthwhile. We shall see in a bit. Get in! Nice! What a mark! Goodness for that! We got one! <laughs> we got one, Mark! Mark, Mark, he's a man. If he can't do it, no one can. It's a nice one as well. It looked decent. Go on, the wells. Top angler, mate. Oh, well done. That's worth the move, wasn't it? Well, it ain't been that long in the swim. Two casts, an hour, half hour plus. Yeah. Result! She's in there! Right. I think it's all dead. So finally, got amongst the barbel. Quick move up river, just after lunchtime, into some deeper water. Thrown to the far bank on an overhanging tree. And this was my reward after only a couple of minutes in the water. Solid bag of ellipse doing the business again on the end of a running rig. But uh, happy days, hopefully we can get a few more. There we go, my first barbel at 23, all thanks to Mark. He encouraged us to move and we did. 20 minutes later, two barbel in the net. What a result. Good old ellipse and uh, one of the new test baits. So yeah, absolutely made up with this one. And hopefully more to follow, but if not, we're off the mark. Well, it is now half four. It is. We have decided to call it a day. Yeah, unlike us, Marks, we're normally here to the bitter ends. We are, but the uh, the last couple of hours, the rivers come up six to eight inches. It's ripping through. Yeah, a uh, lot of sediment and rubbish is being brought down. We've seen yeah, it, what looked like a tree at one yeah. point. <laughs> yes, a whole tree. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, it's made the uh, fishing conditions unfortunately extremely tricky. Can't hold on the back, and that's where a lot of them were holding. Yeah. Sort of back to three quarters. Um, you know, well, we caught barbel. We did catch barbel. We caught it chub. Was, it was worth the move within 20 minutes of moving. And yeah, it was first... literally, and it went manic as well. It's like yeah. three or four bites within the first hour or something like yeah. that. But those then, three bites, 20 minutes or whatever. Yes. Yeah. And then the conditions changed. Yeah. And um, just made presentation next to impossible unfortunately but you know our first trip to the river we, we nah, came for barbell landed 9 10 yep 13 14 bites something yep. like that yep. so we definitely lost a couple of barbell unfortunately yes yeah they just got behind the rocks and no return for them but pretty much how i started the uh well ended <laughs> on the last season lost one at the end but no i'm um, after losing one i was gutted i did almost cry but Mark picked us back up, we moved, and uh, two on the bounce. Yeah, very nice, wasn't it? it yeah. Yeah, it all came together awesome. in the end, so can't argue that at all. You know, it is it is that time of the season, it's not fishing easy at the moment. The river's been very, a very low. Bit of bright sunshine today as well, isn't it? Conditions haven't been yeah. perfect. That's about as many excuses, I think, as we can cram into... Yeah, the boat traffic. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that was horrendous. That, that was a bit of a headache. It was. Um, Just as we got the swim going, we found the line where the fish seemed to be, 
and then all those boats coming through what is relatively shallow water. But you know, it is what it is. Like we said to you guys, we, we I'm moved. I'm learning. I'm learning. Yeah, we moved. We um, found some spots in the new swim, slightly deeper water, and it worked out. So yeah, it's good. But um, yeah. successful, mate. Yes, but the, the presentation is just awful now. We can't fish how we want to. So, um, yeah, we'll call it a day, chuck everything in the van. Absolutely. And uh, drive the 90 minutes home. It was worth it. It was it definitely was worth definitely it. It was definitely worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we are going out on the bank. We've got linear towards the end of the month. We have. We may fit in one next week. Yep, we'll possibly. Try. Mark might sneak out a couple <laughs> of times in the week if he can. Um, but yeah, no, thanks for watching. Keep tuned and we shall have something. Very soon. Yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much.